everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here and in today's project video we're going to be doing a project out of pallet wood and the project I've got here is a picture and the logo for the video game Sea of Thieves. I really like this being a pirate. Um, I don't have the software or the game system to play this game but I do know it's a pirate based video game. I really think the logo is cool and I've already got the wood prepared here and this is actually a pallet wood panel I have glued up and sanded down and I took a lot of time sanding the back to make sure it was smooth so when we're scrolling and it's glued up and I've sanded um, the top partially smooth I want it to have some of that rough look um, I think yeah, it would really shine through with the pattern but the logo is again from the video game Sea of Thieves I'm not making no money making this video and this is just a personal for me project and I just wanted to video and document me making it but as always if you're going to use pallet wood in any kind of project I encourage you to use your dust respirator and have your fans blowing in your workshop or um, dust collectors always running I don't have dust collection but I do have some fans but what I'm going to do now is take some clear packing tape attach the pattern to the pallet wood blank and drill our pilot holes and head over to the scroll saw. Over here on the drill press we're going to drill all of our pilot holes for internal cuttings and this project actually has some floaters in it and over here at the scroll saw we're going to actually start by doing the floaters and what I mean by floater is that I'm going to actually remove a complete piece from the project sand it and then it's going to be glued back into the project so that's what we're doing here doing the internal cuts on the actual floaters here and the floaters are the eye the nose and those two little birds on the logo and even though this is pallet wood I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades How cool is that to use a shark tooth blade to cut out a pirate theme project? The wood measures about three quarter inches thick and like I said I really took my time sanding the back side of this piece to get it nice and smooth so it would ride on the scroll saw table nice and smoothly. And here we're about to release our first floater and I'm going to take it out and show it to you guys and we'll set that aside and cut out another floater we're gonna do the nose here and it actually has the um, shark's fin in it which is real neat that and then we're going to move right along until we finish the project completely starting on the final internal cut which is the biggest cut and guys if you do scroll sawing always save your biggest internal cut for last so that there's more stability on the wood along here along the pirates at the bottom just taking my time with it all in all I think it took me around maybe an hour maybe an hour and 20 minutes to cut everything out Again, I have never played Sea of Thieves or even know what the storyline is about because I don't have the software or the actual game system to play the game on, but if it's a pirate game, I'm sure it's a good game. I might actually go back and watch some people actually play the video game on YouTube later and see what the story's all about. 
but here we are finishing up the final internal cut and then all the scroll work for this project is done. And we're going to carefully slide it out and then clean up where the pilot hole was and take it off the scroll saw. And this is just a piece of quarter inch plywood. We're going to roughly mark out for the backer board and take it over to the bandsaw and cut it down to size. You guys know I use a lot of quarter inch plywood. And then we're going to hit it with a high grit sandpaper with the palm sander. And then we're going to take some black spray paint and give it two or three coats for the backer board. And then I use the heat of Southern North Carolina and also this little fan here to accelerate the drying process. And while it was drying, we come back over here and take the pattern off the piece so it can get ready for sanding. And I brush off some of the sawdust that's already accumulated with just a brush. And then I move the palm sander over here to this workbench to where we can sand it and just doing a light touch because I didn't want nothing to break and I was actually surprised that it didn't require that much sanding given the nature of pallet wood. But now that the backer board has had time to dry, we're going to move over here and use Gorilla Wood Glue to glue everything together. And use some spring clamps to hold everything in place and then I had to go back on my cell phone and look at the actual logo to see where to re-glue all the floaters in. So we are here gluing in all of those. And to accelerate the drying time on this, I not only used the fan, but I actually used a little shop heater that I used during the winter to accelerate the drying time on the glue and I come out and rotated it every so often when I had a spare minute I'd come out and rotate it to make sure that the heat got all over it and dried it but I'm using these strips here to help hold some of the floaters in I didn't get the one little bird there but it glued in perfectly and there's the heater like I was talking about, but after a couple hours, I was able to come out and remove all the clamps. And then we're going to go back over to the scroll saw and trim the backer board. And off camera, I done more sanding with the belt sander to make sure everything was even on all four sides. And then it was ready to be finished. I used some clear coat to finish the project and it was such a beautiful day I took it outside to spray it and I used the direct sunlight to once again speed up the drying process but I give it three or four coats of this nice spray lacquer and I let it dry until the evening and then the project was complete. Now before I show you guys the finished project, I want you guys to know that images like I've just cut out are subject to copyright, so always be aware of that when making stuff. Um, I'm not making a profit or a penny off of what I've made today. This was a for me project. It was an image I saw on a pirate fan page and I saved it to the desktop and just printed it out and enlarged it to turn it into a scroll saw pattern. And I just wanted to make it to have something to hang up in my room. I'm going to put a sawtooth hanger on the back and probably put it up near my guitars and I think it'll really look cool there but I just want you to guys to be aware of copyrighted images and the terms and conditions of using them and stuff like that but here is the completed Sea of Thieves scroll saw art I think it turned out real good nice look at it there the pallet wood cut extremely smooth this was my very first time using a pallet wood panel like this for scroll sawing and it surprised me given the nature of pallet wood of how smooth that it actually cut um, and I really think gluing in the floaters like the nose 
the eye and the two little birds here really give it extra character and all. But I think it turned out real good. Sea of Thieves scroll saw portrait. And I really like how the farther back you get, the more it actually looks like a skull. And then the closer you get to it, you see a lot more of the details. But I really love that. That's about all for this video, guys. Remember, guys, if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.